Hello everybody, welcome back. In this video we're going to finish up section 5, decimal 1, representing relation. Uh, sometimes uh, a relation contains so many order pairs that it's impossible to list all of them, uh, to represent them in the table. For example, um, Western Canada cities is within one hour driving distance of a second Western Canada, Canadian city. So, to describe this in words, um, we'll just, I'll type this out for you. And you can pretty much just summarize what you've read uh, from the diagram. So the relation shows the association. We, we use that word association. Um, and that's basically from your arrow diagram from going from one to the next. So is within one hour driving distance from a set of uh, cities in Western Canada. To a set of cities in Western Canada, um, so it's just hour to hour in Western Canada. In Western Canada, we, you know, we pretty much consider, um, you know, Saskatchewan, Alberta, British Columbia, even um, I would consider Manitoba to be more, you know, more central, I guess. But um, again, that's open for interpretation. I don't know the exact. Uh, information based on geography, but uh, I would consider Western Canada, you know, uh, Saskatchewan, Alberta, uh, British Columbia. So list order pairs. Now, obviously, there's no data here, and that's what it means from up the top when it says sometimes there's so many, because there's a, there's a, there's a, a vast amount of uh, cities in Western Canada. So uh, the textbook just has picked two. Um, and if you ever get a question like this, you can just use information. So it would be like, let's say, Atlantic Canada. So then you would um, do the same thing and you would just figure out from an hour. So, um, for example, um, Sydney River is approximately an hour from Bedeck, right? Um, so I will show how to represent that data um, based on the, the Western Canada example. So, Innis Falls, Alberta, is a, within one hour driving distance of Old Alberta. There's one order pair, a Western Canadian city and a second Western Canadian city. Now, it just happens that they both are in Alberta. That doesn't necessarily have to be the case. Um, you could have went to Alberta to BC because it just said Western cities. Uh, a second um, example here is Kelowna, BC, is within one hour driving distance to Vernon, BC. So that's all it means, um, just a way to represent the, any data or any information based on, um, so far, we had a table, we had an arrow diagram, and this is just a, a diagram in general um, that you see here. Okay, so that is actually it for the first section, 5.1. Uh, we'll be doing, uh, in the next section, we'll look at uh, 5.2, and that's called Properties of Functions. So uh, with this uh, five decimal one, there are the three check your understandings questions that you can do um, on page starting at page 259, uh, 260, 261. And then there are some example exercises on page 262, number three, four, six through 10. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. And we will talk to you when we start section five decimal two properties of function in the next video. Thanks, everyone. And like I said, Talk again soon.